Holy goodness, guys. You ain't going to believe what's going on. But welcome back to another episode. But we have managed to drag ourselves into a title race. You ain't going to believe it. So let's not muck around. So where we are right now is absolutely fantastic. We are in second place. A point behind Sheffield United. We have managed to drag Sheffield United back. They were 12 points clear at one point. We've managed to drag them back. Away at Ipswich, three games left of the season. I said I would come back and do the Millwall and Coventry game. But I thought with the running that we've got, Ipswich, Millwall and Coventry, I was hoping that maybe we could grab a win and, who knows, get promoted or win the league. We're, we're on for it. Let's have a little look at Sheffield United and find out who they have in their last couple of games. So they've got Hull, Sunderland and Preston. So they're, they're running home games. So they're in they're in good cahoots. Sunderland are 9th, Preston are 24th. We've got Ipswich in 11th, Millwall in 20th and Coventry in 7th. They'll be chasing a playoff spot. So it's going to be very, very tough. But we won't muck around anymore. Well, actually, let's have a quick look at the games that we might have missed while you were away. Oh, in fact, I only played the Reading game, which put us in great stead. The end of the season running has been fantastic, if I'm honest with you. It's just what we needed coming on strong. Uh, we beat Reading 2-1. Goals from Shiga, uh, Suhir, Seghir and Shemiti. So we will go away to Ipswich and see how we get on. Let's go. So we are going to go with our full strength side. Griffiths and goal. Devine, Collins, Atkinson. Even though he's looking a bit unfit, I am going to have to play him. Roberts, Garrett, Mazoy, Whitaker. Sagir, Perea, and Samiti up front. And hope the boys can maintain this good form. Pump the fist. Let's ask for revenge, because Ipswich have done us dirty. They've been rivals with us. Coming up, they beat us last year. They knocked us out of the FA Cup. They've 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 definitely given us our our kickings on this career so a result against them would mean a lot as the players we've got have solid it out become a much better unit and much better players as the season's progressed which is what we needed to see Johnson sends it long Edmund fix it in behind Chaplin. So again, now we'll break Atkinson as we. Divine for Collins. Garrett sends it out to Whitaker. It wasn't glitching weirdly earlier. Mazoy. Oh, and that was unlucky. Back off the post. So, 17 minutes gone. We're looking better. Possession, we, we, they, they stormed away with possession initially. But we seemingly have dragged it back now. Pensier with the corner. Whips into the middle. Oh, yes. And Simity with his 31st goal of the season. If I go up next year, I'm not sure whether or not he's going to be good enough for me to buy. Wolfenstein for Humphreys. Out on the left. Oh, and Chaplin does well to bring it down, but Atkinson got his body in the way bravely. Oh, and from the resulting corner, Garrett clears off a line. As it switch comes storming back. Alright, if they don't score from this one. I'm gonna, he's offside. He's offside. He wasn't offside. Win it. Whitaker as well. We will switch it down to balanced. Because during the games that's seemingly done a decent job for us. As this which have come roaring back after the goal. Which is super scary stuff. Whitaker. Oh referee, come on. He's gone. Yes. As we go in half time now. They're a man down. Which 
it means if we can just keep hold of the ball. You're doing well, keep working hard until full time. That's what I want from one of them. Come on, boys. the head away Sigir to Samiti who couldn't hold it up burns out on the right come on lads it's nice football from Ipswich as they are maintained oh and Devine's done something stupid why why for f He's really the only kind of honor he's not at all. I think that's probably a better, way better choice. Samiti is struggling so Draper can come on. Leave it at that for now. Both down to 10 men now. So we want to keep it as tight as possible, but kind of be ready so that if they score, we can try and change something up about it. Because a win, I can't imagine. Oh, Draper with a lovely turn. Oh, what a turn and finish. That is lovely from Freddie Draper. He done me to go one way. Turn back. The defender was gone. And beautifully slipped away. Yes. Was a check for an offside, but he was onside plenty. Turned outside of the right foot. And that was just what we need. Just without Sagar. Some fresh legs in for Bowden. Should keep us nice and fresh and hopefully see out the last 10 minutes of the game because it's an essential win. How? What's going on elsewhere? Okay, where to go with the free kick? Couldn't quite find Draper, but Collins to early. Your head to the left in space, but Wolfton does win it and he does find Sur Surridge. He finds Chaplin, Evans, cleared, Callum Wright. He drives into space, oh, and Walton does well. Oh, another instant highlight. Surridge, Atkinson, driven in, Chaplin, great save by Griffiths. Oh, and then the rebound by Sam Surridge, oh, but it has been disallowed. Early managed to press up well after clearing it. Just managed to catch him offside. Lucky. Oh, we've gone top of the league. Oh, Sheffield United aren't playing. <sighs> I got all excited then. So, there it is. A decent win. A much needed win. Draper coming off the bench to get us a... Nice work, we're in the playoffs. We've Yes! I can't believe it, we've qualified for the playoffs at least. Let's try and hold off and see how Sheffield United get on. And Plymouth leads Sheffield United will guarantee the playoff spot. Devine's done himself a stupid there, hasn't he? So we need to see Sheffield United, they beat Hull. So they've gone back to the top. So we will be back for the Millwall game coming up.
See you in a second. So, gang, we are back for the Ipswich game. Sheffield United are away to Sunderland, so we'll hope some sort of upset can happen there. Two points ahead of Leeds. It's looking like if we can win this one, we'll at least get third, which would be annoying to fall into the playoffs. But let's concentrate on the Leeds game. Man City have won a treble, something that cropped up in the news week as we passed. But I don't want to bore you all too much because this is going to be a long episode. More to the point, she makes on the verge of history. Becoming Plymouth's leading goal scorer, Jack Cock. <laughs> Jack Cock was Plymouth's leading goal scorer. I don't know if that's true or not. 33 goals in the season. But she has got 31, so he might be able to beat Jack Cock's record. Jack Cock, is that real? Mm. So, we will name our starting 11 and be right back with you. So, we haven't gone too many changes, just ones that have had to have been made, which is which is not quite ideal. Griffiths and goal. Namdi Collins has been moved to right back, despite the fact that he's been playing so well lately. Galloway has been brought in at centre back, just due to the fact that the suspensions and injuries that they're piling up. So we are short. Hence the reason. Well, it's to Divine really. He's the one that's picked up the annoying red card so yeah Galloway in the centre Atkinson Hayden Roberts picking up his form end of the season Jake Garrett Mizoy Whitaker, Seeger Perea and Schmitty up front so let's hope we can get another win here as we push and also hope that Sunderland can maybe do us a favour and have a draw or a win I'm not sure who Leeds have got so let's get out first 10 minutes get at them if you carry on from your last performance, we'll do well. I'm going to do faith in the last game. Because it's away at Coventry. I haven't done it in a while. Maybe we're looking to come here and get a win. They're not sitting back. Around the grounds. Where are Leeds? Leeds are home to Reading. Schmitty whips in across. Roberts to Garrett Whitaker. Just couldn't bend it around. I can some wins ahead of well. Garrett flicks it in. Benzegir. Is he onside? He is. And that's 1-0 to Plymouth Argyle. Inside of eight minutes. And that man has been a pivotal difference. I had Manu at the start of the season from Manchester United. But this dude, since he's come in, has been fantastic. I'm really interested just to keep an eye on these scores on top of the league. If everything stays as it is, I'll stay top of the league. So yeah, to Garrett. Collins does well. Collins has got pace as well. Oh, that was an unlucky little ball from Mizoy. Collins again, unlucky. Galloway does well to get to the ball first. Perea Samiti. Oh, and it was a good save from the Millwall keeper. Does well spreading himself. Let's put us to the top of the league. Collins. Okay. Well, it's ended. Sunderland are holding out after 15 minutes. Henrik Perea. Garrett, so yeah, Whitaker's through. Oh, and it was a good save from Long again. It was always a deep cross, and Missy just couldn't get there. Gone out to a Plymouth throw. The highlight does end. We're a point clear. Sounds like a bag of gold, that'd be lovely. A few goals coming in. Come back and check at half time. This is looking like we're, we're playing okay. Then we're not allowing them a shot, but I would like I would like to be putting a chance or two away. Fifteen shots, five on target. Long oh, minute. Nice shimmy. Nice. Gives it to Whitaker. Schmitty, Mazzoi. Oh, makes it 2 0. And that is what we need. Come on, boys. We're in a bloody tight race with one game to go. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm happy with the shots on target so far. That I always find that that doesn't do you any wrong. It sends your players out there always juiced and happy. Reach their point ahead. So Sunderland have taken a lead, which will lead us two points ahead, and four points ahead of, of Leeds as well. Oh no, Leeds have two point. Leeds have just scored against Reading, but Sunderland. What's happened here? Has anything come through there? Leeds have gone two 0 up. So Leeds have jumped ahead of Sheffield United. Zoe Perea. Galloway to Collins. Collins out on the right. Garrett flicks it inside. That was really nice. Mazzoi manages to get it back to Galloway. Oh, and he tried something super ambitious, but... Where are Sunderland? Sunderland is still 1-0 up against Sheffield United. With 20 minutes to go. Right, Wick has picked up a knock, which isn't ideal. Tariq Wright can go in there. Early can come in for Boom Boom. Callum Wright for Segura through the middle. No, oh wait, that can go like that actually. Spareway can actually come and have a game. Bow down for Mazzoi. And hopefully we can hold it off for the last 15 minutes with some fresh legs and Spareway gets another. Another game coming through. Tariq Wright with an in swinging corner. Bowden to Callum Wright. Oh, out on. Hayden Roberts cuts inside. That was unlucky. Sunderland are beating Sheffield United still with 10 minutes to go. Oh, Namdi Collins coming in. Proving that he's not just a big old centre back, he can be a decent right back as well. Bowden whips it in. Namdi Collins on the volley, low and hard, smashes it into the corner. And that makes it 3 0, which is convincing. It's still looking like it's 1 0 to Sunderland in the Sheffield United game. Leeds are still 2 0 up, so they're there. The, but I'm too. I sh I'm, uh, at the moment. Oh, Tariq Wright. Oh, wow. Cheeky little finish. And Plymouth are playing like title title winners. Garrett, Schmitty, Sparaway. You get, his, you get a little assist as well. We'll offer some praise out. So it looks like Sunderland... Sunderland did it. Sunderland held off against Sheffield United. Leeds won. You did the job I asked of you. I am one happy manager. Super happy manager. So what's gone on results wise? Yeah, Sheffield United lost. So they've dipped down to third with two points. It's two points with one game to go. With five points ahead of Wolves. So the lowest we can finish is third. Jeez. So yes, guys and girls, we will be back for the final game of the season against Coventry. And that will dictate what goes on. Are we going to go up via automatic promotion? Or are we going to go up via the playoffs? So I'll be back in two secs. So, one and all, here we are. Here it is. It is crunch time. It's game time. It's nerve wracking. Balls to the war time. We are away at Coventry, who are looking to secure their playoffs place, really, against Watford and Norwich closing in on them. Leeds United are away at Watford, so they've got a competitive game. And Sheffield United are at home to Preston, so they've got bottom of the league. So they've got the easiest game of all of us. So let's jump in. Let's not muck around anymore. And let's get to the end of the season. Excitement. I'll pick a team and I'll be right back. Namdi Collins on the right. Hayden Roberts. Atkinson. Early. Garrett. Mazoy. Whitaker, Who's just passed the fitness test. And I'm going to play him. Sagir. Perea. And Sumiti. And we'll hope that this team can give us the juice we need. In fact, I am actually going to change it as soon as we start to balanced. I'm going to go in as attacking and change it to balanced. 
I got a theory that, that works weirder, weirdly better. Fans really are up for this match. You need to match their past and do them justice. Pump, I have faith. Pump, I have faith. Let's go, lads. We'll give it 10 minutes attacking. I'm going to keep it on this final score screen to see what goes on. Stoker scored early. That doesn't really change things on my end. Millwall scored early. Sunderland have had a man sent off against Ipswich. Whitaker. Bidwell. I'm nervous. Early manages to intercept, which is good, Atkinson. Early Perea. Oh, gives it away. Oh, but Garrett's stolen. Great. Schmitty. Whitaker. Oh, and it was blocked by Bidwell on the line. Pensacure with the corner. And eventually. Eventually it's. Oh. Leeds have scored. Which is. Bring them equal on points, but I have to lose. I can, all right, I have to lose. Bidwell. Missouri manages to win in the midfield. Oh, Collins missed, missed time to jump. Oh, here's, he's there, he's their striker. I'm going to try a little bit of encouragement for the boys. Pensacate as well to get his noggin on that. Coventry come again and highlights over. So at this current minute, Leeds are winning. Sheffield United are drawing. O'Hare with the corner, win it. <sighs> Collins to Garrett Atkinson brings it forward, Mazoy. Early. Nice football from Argo. Perea Mizoy found some space and did really well. Gives it back. Atkinson to Garrett. Hayden Roberts to Gear. Fantastic pass around the corner. Whitaker cuts back. Oh, and that is an absolute belter from Morgan Whitaker to make it 1 0 to Plymouth Argo. He's not going to make it too much of the game, but. Skips back. Oh, thank you. And that is lovely for Morgan Whitaker. To make it 1 0 to Plymouth Argyle. With just as Preston score as well. Uh, just as Sheffield United score as well. Packed out here as well. Pump fist. Let's go with that. We're doing well, but I feel we can take charge of the match. And hope that a couple of the players can keep their performance and maintain it. Whitaker's going to have to come off. It's always going to be the case. I'm not going to risk the, 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 the sending off, neither. Federico blocks a shot. Stoke have gone 2 0. They started to score in the last half, didn't they? This is so tense. It's so tense. 64% possession. We are controlling the game. I'm not going to look to change any players. I'm going to keep this starting 11. Actually, Mazoy is struggling loads. Callum Wright can come in. He's not played in centre midfield much at all this season, but... Just want a pair of fresh legs to try to keep it as fresh as I can. Last 10 minutes. Leeds have gone 3 0 up. They need to score about 8. Pensacola with the corner. 
couldn't beat the first man, win it. Patterson wins it. Collins wins it back. Great pace. Henrik Perea. Send it. Callum Wright. Sergei Simity. Oh, is it all? Oh, it's just an offside. There's an offside in there. That would have killed the game. There. Sergei is offside. But his unselfish play to give it to Tariq Wright. Next level stuff, that is. That's what you want those players in that position to be doing. There it is. There it is. I'm pretty sure. It's going to take a lot to stop me now. I can't believe it. We won the league. We did it. Yes. Get in there, lads. Genuinely, I am chuffed. You're going to watch a little celebration. as Plymouth Argyle lift the championship trophy and go into the Premier League for the first time in their history. And there it is, champions. Yes. So, guys, I think, I think there's no better time, really, to end this than right now. I will do an episode during the preseason when we when we when I come up with some ideas of what the hell is going to go on for next season because I was not predicting a promotion. I just wasn't. Let alone a championship win. So there you have it. Champions. Enjoy it, lads. You can sit back end of the season now. Let the, let the playoffs commence. We won it by two points. The fans are all happy. So let's actually find out what the budget is for next season. Here we go. Oh, 36 million. 500 grand a week and 36 million. That's interesting, that is. I can work with that, you know. All right, cool. So we will leave it there and I will be back with a maybe a long pre-season episode. What a great season overall. Hey, what a fabulous season overall that is. So, yeah, I was not expecting to get promoted. I was not expecting to win the league. I was expecting to fight bravely against relegation. So, wow. 36 million going into the Premier League is not a terrible amount either. So, I'm excited for that. That should be that should be good. Thank you very much for, for watching. Thank you very much if you've commented, liked, subscribed. Thank you. We are a bit more forward ahead, as I keep saying, over on Twitch. We are a bit more into the future as I stream live over there and, and record while I'm streaming. So if you're interested, come and join us over on Twitch. I say us, I mean me. There is no us about this. It's just me, as you can tell. But thank you very much. Please comment, like, subscribe. Any ideas for transfers next season going into the Premier League, please let me know because I would be more than interested. Much love from me as always. Peace.